England has a brand new manager, and he goes by the name of Adrian Flynn. In the last episode, you guys saw England has been struggling. We are losing games in the European Championship qualifiers, guys. And because of that, they fired their manager, and they're bringing in Adrian Flynn now, if you guys don't know who Adrian Flynn is, you're probably a new subscriber to the channel. He is one of our old my players. He was a goalie that we ran on the channel. We had a series based on Adrian Flynn. And uh, in our new series right here, where we're playing as Connor Wilson, while England signs him to a contract. So we're headed to the stadium here and going to a press conference where they're going to be introducing him as the new England manager. So guys, shout out to any of you down below in the comment section in the last episode who guessed that it was going to be Adrian Flynn. I saw there were some comments, guys. So yeah, a uh, big thumbs up to you guys. And uh, let's get in to this episode without further further ado back in the Premier League here with Swansea City and this first game is going to be a tough one it is at home but we're taking on the likes of Manchester United gonna have to go up against those players like Lukaku, Pogba, Rashford, Martial this is going to be one of the toughest games of the season we did beat Manchester City in the last episode so let's see if we could beat the fourth best team in the Premier League Manchester United and uh, either way guys no matter what we're going to retain that top spot in the league because uh yeah the next closest team's on 14 points well we're on 19 points who would have thought guys we'd be doing so well this um we're not really that far into the season but it's getting to a point here guys where teams really need to start taking us seriously it's still early in the season but we're just performing so well I don't know, guys. Can we keep this streak up for much longer? Can Swansea continue to dominate the Premier League? We'll see, guys. Only time will tell. But getting into this game, we are going to have a chance to get off to a good start with this chance right here from Connor Wilson. There was, guys. We go on to score that goal. It's already 1-0. And now Manchester United are going to need to go on the attacking end right here. This is really insane, guys. I mean, I know I've been having such a great season. But the one thing that I'm so shocked about is how well our defense is playing, guys. I mean, we're keeping clean sheet after clean sheet. Hopefully, I'm not speaking too soon and Manchester United go on and score like three or four goals in this game. But guys, in recent episodes, we haven't been allowing goals. And that's really, really hard to believe. Our defense isn't the best rating-wise, but they're just getting the job done. And it's honestly insane. Again, the difficulty is on world class, so I don't really know what to do at this point. I know we could switch it to legendary, but I just don't find playing on legendary fun. Just way too hard to uh, score goals and whatnot. So I think we're going to be keeping it on world class. But again, guys, I don't know why. If it's our defense or if it's just um, the attackers from our opposing teams that just can't score. Honestly, I couldn't tell you what it was. But right now, United, they can't seem to get anything done. They can't break through our defense, even though they have world class players like Lukaku, uh, Lukaku, Lukaku, Paul Pogba and all of those others it's crazy guys i don't know what to say let me know what you guys think it is down below in the comments why these teams just can't seem to score all the sliders are set on um the, def the default sliders so i haven't messed with them at all i don't know why the other teams are just having so much of an issue scoring this is like the first time in this career mode that that has happened so i guess it's just our defense playing well but anyways guys we pick up a win in this one beating Mourinho and beating Manchester United. We're staying top of the table and we are very comfortable up there. A 1-0 victory here against United. That just feels great. One of the 
most historical teams, I would say, in the Premier League, guys. And uh, again, one of the best teams in the Premier League. So it's a solid win right there. We'll take that. But it's back to work. We're back to the training grounds, working on a few things. We just got to stay prepared, stay ready, because uh, winning these games doesn't come easy. A lot of hard work goes into it. And uh, these training sessions really help it a lot. We took our first penalty in the last episode. And right here, we are uh, working on them again. Hopefully, we'll get uh, another chance to take some more penalties in the future. But after practice, a few of my teammates and myself, we decided to go down here to the racetrack where we would be kind of having some fun, just a uh, little team bonding and betting on some races here. I actually bet on a few weight races, and as you guys can see, we earned about $20,000 right there, and uh, very, very cool to see. Just a very fun time out with some teammates, hanging out, uh, having a few drinks, having some food, and then betting on the races, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Good experience here, guys. Some nice um, team chemistry building activities here off the pitch for uh, us Swansea City players, and it's just clicking on all ends right now for us here at Swansea but after this guys time to get back in to another game here taking on Norwich so if we can beat Manchester United this game against Norwich should come pretty easy don't you think I guess we'll see here guys this is gonna be an away game though so it might be a little more difficult we don't have our home fans in front of us and before we get into this game guys as always, a thousand likes. Go smash that like button right now. You guys must be in the holiday spirit or something because you've been killing it on the likes. We hit um, 1,200 in the last episode. Let's see if we can go for 2,000 likes. It's been a while since we've hit 2,000 likes on a video. That would be insane. Smash that like button right now. If you guys can hit 2,000 likes on this video. I'm thinking about doing something special for Christmas and making like a 20, 30, maybe even 40 minute long episode for Christmas, like a Christmas special. We'd have maybe like 10 games and like 15 storylines in one episode. Would you guys like to see that? I think it'd be really, really cool. And I think it's something you guys would enjoy. Just like a super jam-packed, like, mega episode. I don't even know what to call it. Like, a 30-minute episode. Bunch of storylines. A bunch of games. We can get through, um, yeah, quite a few, uh, a bit of games. I don't know really what I'm trying to say. But I think you guys know what I mean. If you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comments. And then also, 2,000 likes. Smash that like button right now, guys. That would be awesome if you guys could do that. Let's get back into the action right here. We're Norwich basically dominating us in the first half until this nice little skill run right here from your boy Wilson. And then we take the shot, and that one goes way over the crossbar. But how about that skill run right there? Uh, flying past defenders, basically. We just couldn't finish that one. Put a little too much power on it right there. And, um, yeah, with that, that was going to be it, guys, for this first half. Nil-nil is the scoreline. We really need to pick up the pace here in the second half because Norwich, they've had so many chances. I honestly can't believe they haven't scored yet. Again, I don't know what it is. Is it our defense, our goalkeeper, or our, our opposition's attacker? attackers? Are they just not good at all? I couldn't tell you guys. Let's get back into it. Norwich, another chance right here for them, and they put it wide. Again, it could just be the attackers not performing well, because this right here could have very easily been a goal, but it goes inches wide of the post. Chance right here for myself, looking to score, and I can't believe that one didn't go in. Hits off the post right there, deflects out of play. That was so close, and guys, that was going to be it for the match. This one is going to be nil-nil. No points picked. Well, I guess we pick up one point, but no goals scored in this game right here. Kind of disappointing. After beating United, you would expect us to beat Norwich, but we just didn't do it. And um, I guess it's not the end of the world, guys. We're still going to be staying at top of the table right here. And in the next episode, I'm going to show you guys, like, the top goal scorers and everything like that. Top assist getters, because we haven't really shown that this season. I don't think that's something you guys want to see. But after this game, guys, the year in this career mode is 2018. And we're going to see a movie that's coming out this year. And do you guys know what it is? We're actually getting to see this movie early. And if 
you guys can guess it, I'd be quite impressed, but I'll give you one hint. A similar movie to this series just came out just a few weeks ago, but again, this is a year later than in real life, and the next episode of this movie series, I guess you would say, just came out. What do you guys think this movie is? Let me know your guesses down below in the comments section, and maybe we'll show you a little sneak peek of it in the next episode. That's if you guys hit a thousand likes. Um, do that, and we'll have the next one up soon. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I will see you guys later. Peace.